aside from the archival research, you have a knack of getting people to talk. Why do you suppose people talk to you? I try to be unassuming. You know, I know some, there are reporters who are like bulldogs and like yelling on the phone, and that's just not my approach. I'm also almost on all the things I write about, I'm really ignorant. And I go into them being very honest about my ignorance. And I didn't know anything about the Osage murders, uh, you know, the systematic killing of these people for their oil money. You had a relationship with the chief of the Osage. Yes, with many of the Osage. How yeah. did you cultivate that? How did you build that trust? You know, I think it's just over time. Um, you know, my approach to reporting is, 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 is immersive. So when I was doing Coastal Flower Moon, I would rent a boarding house, a boarding room in a boarding house, and stay there for three weeks or a month at a time, and just live there and get to know people. Where, where was this? This was in Pahuska, which is part of uh, where the Osage Nation is, and, um, and get to know people. Then I had never seen a prairie. I swear to God, that was the craziest thing. When I was working on Kills of Flower Moon, I had never seen a prairie. And, uh, you know, talk about immersion. I had to describe um, uh, one of the people in the story who had slept in the prairie one night on a journey that she took. And I thought, well, I've never really been out in the prairie. So I found the path that she had taken. This would have been, you know, in the late, uh, uh, late 19th century, she made this journey. I was told the path she would have taken. And I camped out on the prairie that night. And you know what's interesting? I didn't write about that in the book. I don't write about sleeping in the prairie, but it helped me get closer to understanding her and what it must have been like looking at this immense sky as a little girl. You know, reporting can give you a lot. And these experiences, you know, I joke about them and the adventures, but you know, these experiences can really touch you and you can, you can, you develop relationships and, and friendships and, and things that change you. And so for me, that is like, that's, the reward. I mean, that is really the secret reward. And th th those parts aren't always in, in the books or the stories you tell, but they are the things that enrich your life. And it's why I like doing what I do.